what's going on it's lupe again with illegal racing so i'm almost at 100 subscribers which is freaking dope but you can tell i feel a lot better uh today post uh appendix rupturing but i'm gonna need your help in the comments so it's things that you can say but a shop won't you know as a, as a shop you want to be super professional handle things the right way but behind closed doors you know there's a lot of shit talking that goes on between what customers want what they think they can do what they think they the, the car can do but it can't do and you know everyone listening to this stuff on Facebook so comment below it could be a performance shop it could be a regular dealership it could be whatever of things that you want to tell customers but you know for a fact for professionalism uh, shop managers or something they, they won't say that directly so I got a few things out that are in mind and here they go you ready to start talking a bunch of start talking a bunch of caca hmm? don't bring your car for me to work on it after it's been worked on by your homeboy your uncle your uncle's homeboy the, the homeboys that that, that that had a homeboy that knew a guy that had a shop and, and you know now you want to bring it to me because apparently no one can fix your 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 piece of shit and uh now you're blaming me for everything that's wrong with it uh, i'm just not going to do that i'm just having you hand you your keys right back if you drive your car and you have seat coolers off ac off the fucking car is off and you're like wait you hear that i hear this noise it only happens on tuesday on windy days when there's like a little bit of rain outside and slightly humid it like clicks is there like a clicking on my, on my passenger door get a girlfriend shout out to douchebag on this one if you want your car to drive and resemble like it was when it was stock leave it stock don't complain about losing a little bit of low end torque because you did this and then you did that and it's loud and now i got this rattle and this and that if you like it stock leave it stock if you're a hoarder and you have like six pounds of trash in your car and you know we're gonna be in the trunk to work on the battery or install a auxiliary fuel system or something clean your car you know how many how, how tired we are of working on your hoarded out diaper stripper shoe bras toilet paper 90s dvds filled filthy trunk do you live like that it's not my fault you can't drive i would say use common sense when you're modifying your car but you know common sense doesn't really doesn't really exist anymore after seeing what's been unfolding in the past few months over here because apparently you know toilet paper is just a, a really high necessity for life it's not my fault you suck at driving and no i will not desensitize your knock sensors add more timing so you can go ahead and beat the turbo k-series all-wheel drive civic that's out there whooping everybody's ass it's not gonna happen tuning wrenching on cars and overall knowledge takes a lot of experience and education to put a lot of stuff together so you want to shortchange me take your shit to joe schmo and have your shit blow up and again and when you come back to me for me to fix it the right time the final time don't get mad at the price tag don't believe everything you see on instagram don't believe everything you see on youtube and don't believe everyone giving you advice on facebook your cold air muffler delete and resonator delete with tinted tail lights and a sticker is not a build it is not a build it's not my fault you can't drive don't tell me how to work on your car don't tell me what's best for your car don't tell me that i charge too much don't tell me that i'm not working on your car quick enough the reason why i probably haven't got your car done is probably because you haven't paid me there's a reason why we charge what we charge because we know what we're doing there's a reason you came to me because apparently no one else can fix your piece of shit. If your car doesn't have a cage or a parachute, it's not a race car. 
if you bought an LS or an LT anything and you bought it just so you can make it chop in a parking lot, you probably should have bought a Mustang. If I give you a build sheet on what to do with your car and you don't let me do it and you have someone else do it and they do some half-ass bullshit and then you bring it back to me to try and fix it, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to charge double and you can kiss my ass. If you're the type of person to consistently talk shit about everyone who works on your car because no, they don't, they haven't got it to work the right way or not the way you want it or this and that, I'm not going to work on it and no one's going to work on it because you're too toxic and you can go fuck yourself. Uh, that's just being straight up. I'm not going to touch it. I would love to take your money, but I know if I work on it and I do some stuff to your car and it doesn't do a certain thing or this and that or not to what you wanted to do it in your fucking crazy ass blended brain, uh, I'm just not going to go that route and for you to bash everybody on Facebook and this and that and put, my, and put me in a bad name. No, fuck that. You can, go, you can get out of here. It is not my fault that you're driving a $60,000 car and you can't afford to put on a $300 or $400 set of tires. Not my fault. Don't bring me a pile of parts and expect me to make the best of it and make your and, and pull a miracle out of my ass. Shout out to homeboy at Power the Hour, Power by the Hour for this one. It's not my fault you suck at driving and you can't catch second gear in traffic. Modding your car takes actual money. Nothing is free. 20 followers, four likes and two comments are not going to get you sponsored or get you the homeboy discount because the homeboy discount doesn't exist.